Hey there, Pisces, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. This is going to be a reading for the week of December 27th, 2021 through January 2nd, 2022. In this reading, we're going to take a look at past, present, and near future energies, as well as any energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week. Also, Pisces, please remember the energies go both ways, so this energy in the reading may be yours, may be your person's, or this reading may not be for you. Take oh, the energies as they resonate. And just as I said that, the moon popped out, which is your card. So, yeah. Some of you Pisces are definitely going to need to hear this for you. Okay, Pisces, the main energy that you're going to be dealing with this week is the Four of Pentacles. You're holding on to something or you're closing yourself off to something. We'll see what this is about when we clarify. In the recent past, you get the moon, which is your card, popped out of the deck, the world, and the eight of pentacles. You're working on closing out a cycle here in the recent past. Now, it's not just like, oh, boo-hoo, you know, cycle closing out. No, you're actively putting in energy to close this out. It's like you know that something here needs to end, needs to come to an end, and you're like, okay, let's go. Let's get the ball rolling. In the current situation, you get the page of pentacles, the nine of wands, and the three of swords. You're going through a learning process, but it's almost like you don't want to realize what the lesson is. There's some unprocessed emotional pain showing up here for you in the current situation. Something that I feel is like from the distant, distant past that you don't really want to work on. It's like the universe is presenting you with this and it's like, Pisces, you know, may maybe take a look at this, you know, this pain that you've been carrying around for quite some time. And you're like, nah, I'm okay. I'll deal with it later. I don't want to deal with it now. I don't have the time. I'm too busy. You know, this isn't the good time for me. Very, very defensive energy when it comes to, to dealing with this. But we'll see when we clarify. In the near future, you get the Three of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Somebody here wants to reconcile. And I feel like it could be your person, could be you. Somebody else here doesn't want to even hear about it. They're showing up with a very defensive energy, very much like closed off to this offer of reconciliation very much like nope no thank you stay back now whether or not they actually want it that's something entirely different this is how they're showing up but let's peer beneath the surface shall we pisces let's take a look deep deep down let's start off by clarifying this moon in your recent past which just had to pop out of the deck as i was shuffling oh, all right Moon is clarified by the Page of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Lovers. There is a strong-ass bond between you and somebody else. It's an intense connection showing up. It's both emotionally, physically. It's like you guys are just like magnets towards each other. Now, with the Page of Swords, I see somebody here kind of opening up to that, being like, okay, I see this for what it is. They feel this. Whoever this is, you and this person, because there's no way this is just one-sided. You're both feeling this intense connection. But only one of you is actually allowing themselves to kind of a little bit sort of feel it. Whoa, that was intense. Was not expecting that. Let's take a look at the world in your recent past. World is clarified by the Page of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay. There's a cycle here which is closing out for you. I feel like it's a cycle of loss, a cycle of separation. I feel like you and this person may have broken up a while ago, a couple months ago, something like that. And in the recent past, you're opening up. You're allowing yourself to start feeling those feelings again because I don't feel like they went anywhere, if I'm being honest. And you get the Three of Cups, which is reconciliation in the near future in the same room. So, but in the, in the recent past, somebody here is like, okay, I'm opening up again. I'm not fully exposing my heart, you know, but somebody here is allowing a cycle of pain to close out for them after an ending, after a separation, after a breakup, and allowing themselves to kind of open up a little bit, let their heart open a little bit, not be so closed off anymore. Let's take a look at the Eight of Pentacles in the recent past. Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. You're working on your stability. You're working on both material stability, but also feeling really, really good, feeling really, really balanced and attractive and beautiful, working on like your own awesome energy. I see you putting in the effort 
to really do this, right? So this isn't just coming naturally. You are actively putting in the effort, but that's not a bad thing because with the Wheel of Fortune, that's bringing in a lot of good energy for you. So in the recent past, whatever you invested your energy in, whatever you put effort towards, it's showing up manifesting beautifully, both in the material world and energetically for you. It's making you feel really, really, really good. Like there's, there's a lot of positive energy that came in for you in the recent past as a result of something that you worked on or have been working on. Let's take a look at the page of pentacles in your current situation. Page of pentacles is clarified by the nine of cups, the chariot, the ace of wands. There's a connection that you want back. Now, again, I see you moving in that direction and the universe is like shoving you from behind like come on Pisces let's go let's go come on go 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 um you're getting all these cards in the same row past present future this is all tied up to a connection and I feel like you want this connection back but again you're opening up this much Pisces you feel this much you're opening up this much you're expressing this much you're allowing yourself to feel this much it's like it's like an iceberg and underneath the iceberg is all the feelings, all the emotions, all the passion, all the fire. And you're letting yourself feel the very tip, tip, tip of the iceberg. You're like, just the taste is how it's showing up. Um, and I feel like the reason you're doing that is because there's still emotional pain tied up to this person. I feel like this person hurt you and you haven't fully processed all of it. You have processed some of it, but not all of it. Let's take a look at the nine of wands in your current situation because you're definitely guarded here very defensive nine of wands is clarified by the five of swords the seven of cups the magician you don't trust this person that's why you're guarded <clears throat> you don't trust them you're really confused about them um you're really confused about whether you should feel this whether you should pursue this whether you should allow this to happen whether this person is right for you there's a lot of confusion in the current situation and what you're doing is you're manifesting clarity but because you don't trust this person, because you don't trust the situation, that's why you're guarded. That's why you're like, you know what? I'm just going to keep my defenses up. I'm going to make sure to secure myself, keep myself safe until I feel comfortable, until I feel safe, until I feel like I can trust this person or the situation or myself or until I get some clarity. Yeah, that makes perfect sense to me. Let's take a look at the three of swords in your current situation. Three of Swords is clarified by the Star, the Knight of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to get past this emotional pain. You want to heal this emotional pain. It's like you're asking the universe, you know, Spirit, take the wheel. Help me get out of this energy of holding on to this pain into back to like the fiery, lighthearted energy that I know I have. The passion. I want to feel good and stable. Like I have everything that I need within myself. Like I feel great. I don't need anybody. I don't need anything. And not from like a selfish place of like F them. More so from a place of like, I don't want to carry this emotional pain anymore. I want to process it. I want to move past it. And I want to step into like very beautiful energy. And you're asking spirit to come in with that. There's a lot of manifestation happening in the current situation. And you're manifesting really beautiful things. So um, let's take a look at the three of cups in the near future. Three of Cups is clarified by the Hierophant, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Tower. This could be a uh, marriage for some of you or a connection that was so intense that it felt like a marriage. I see you wanting to reconcile with this person. And what's interesting, Pisces, is I don't even feel like you realize that this is coming. It's like this desire to reconcile, this stability, this I want this person forever in my life comes out of nowhere. It hits you out of nowhere one day. And again, all these energies are in the same row. So I know this is tied up to this connection. For those of you dealing with an earth sign, this could be their energy, but I feel like it is you. You want you want long term with this person. You want a long, stable relationship with them. You have an intense, loving connection with them. You feel a strong bond with them. So of course you do. Let's take a look at the seven of wands in the near future. Hmm. Seven of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Wands, the Three of Cups, which you just got, and the Two of Swords. Immediately, the second you start feeling these, the I want to reconcile, I want this person back, I want this connection back, bam. You're like, oh, wait, but I need to protect myself. Defense up. It's kind of the energy that I'm getting. It's hard for you. It's hard for you to feel these things. It feels like anytime you feel these emotions, this 
I want this person back. I want to reconcile with them. I miss them, etc. It's almost like all of a sudden you have a thousand pound boulder dropped on you. And so there's a lot of you being closed off because when you feel closed off, when you're like, oh, I don't feel anything. I don't want anything. You know, you're kind of like energetically like stay back, stay back desire. Once you have that, it makes you feel lighter. It makes you feel safer. It makes you feel like, you know, you're protected. Um, and that makes sense, right? When we want something that has caused us pain or that we don't have, but we really desire it, it's difficult for us to allow those feelings to come in. It's difficult for us to open up to that because it's first of all tied up to pain, right? With the person from the past, but it's also difficult for us to maybe possibly entertain the idea that we want something that we may not be able to get again, right? So I understand why you're like, I need to close myself off. I need to protect myself in the near future. Let's take a look at the two of swords because you get the two of swords again in the near future. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I said this, but for the seven of wands in the near future, you get the ten of wands, the three of cups, and the two of swords. Um, and then let's clarify the two of swords again in your near future, closing out your reading. Are you playing me, bro? Two of swords is clarified by the empress, the nine of wands, and the emperor. Emperor and empress, the divine pair of all divine pairs. But what is smack center in the middle between the two of you, Pisces? The Nine of Wands. You guys are both guarded. You are both guarded. And it's so interesting because neither of you sees it. Both of you are like, I'm not guarded. The other person's guarded. I'm not guarded. You're both guarded. The only thing separating the two of you, a divine pair of all divine pairs, is your defense mechanisms. You guys are both guarded. You're both trying to protect yourself against pain from the other person. But you both, like, the lovers, the hierophant, the emperor and the empress, like, need I say more? Oh, and I didn't even shuffle. At the bottom of the deck, the nine of swords. It's anxiety. It's fear. It's pain from the past, pain in the present when you guys are not together. That's what's separating you two. You guys are both trying to protect yourself from pain. And, and it's keeping you guys apart <laughs> in the near future. Let's take a look at what the universe wants to, you to keep in mind this week, Pisces. From the universe, you get the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're moving in this direction. You are moving in this direction of a new beginning in love with this person. But there's anxiety and there's pain tied up to it. Not just for you, not just for them, for the both of you. You guys are both being pulled together like a magnet towards this brand new beginning in love. But you guys are kind of like dragging your heels energetically because you're scared, because of the pain, because of what happened, because of what, you know, the breakup. Um, so it's just prolonging the process a little bit is what it's showing me. Um, but Pisces, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it resonated, I highly recommend you check out your December and mid-December energy readings. Thank you again for tuning in, Pisces, and I will see you here for your reading next week. Bye, Pisces.